Hi, I'm Shane Bishop, the developer of the eWWW Image Optimizer, and today I want to show you an easier way to speed up your website and optimize your images. There are four main recommendations when it comes to speeding up your images. The first is compressing those images. The second is making sure to properly size or scale those images. The third is lazy loading, or not loading crap that's not on the screen. The fourth is using next-gen formats like WebP or JPEG XR. So today I have a demo site that I've set up with a 3 meg uh, payload and a 2.2 second load time, which is a little bit below average according to GT metrics. One of the other things I want to show you is how to see this in a, in a real-world test. So to do that, you would open up uh, the Chrome Developer Tools uh, using Command Shift C or Control Shift C, and then you would see um, a panel like this down at the bottom, and we can see here that it came in at about 1.4 seconds, 1.39 to be exact, and about 3.3 megs on the uh, payload, and that's because this is on a Retina display, so it's displaying a little bit larger images. All right, so there's two plugins that I want to show you. The first is a brand new one that we released, the Easy Image Optimizer, and the other is WP Rocket for caching. And so let's go ahead and activate the Easy Image Optimizer. And then at the top, you'll see that we need to visit the settings page to complete activation. And there's just a few steps here. We start a free trial, which I've already done. We add our site URL to our account, and there we can see that exactly what we need to add. And then we can go ahead and complete the activation. And there we go. We're done. We've got it activated. It's already auto-configured and ready to go. We can check our results over here in our incognito window. And here you can see we get down under uh, 600 milliseconds for the DOM content and down under 900 for fully loaded. Next we're going to activate WP Rocket. So we're going to go head on over to our plugins page, activate that. And of course we're going to clear the cache just to make sure we don't have anything crazy going on. And then I'll show you uh, which settings we're using here. We've kept it pretty simple. Uh, first thing here on uh, the caching tab that is enabled here and then on the file optimization tab we're combining Google font files we're not doing minify HTML and we're not doing minify CSS or minify JavaScript because uh, the easy image optimizer already does that for you on the media section we don't need to lazy load images because the easy image optimizer already does that as well but we are going to disable emoji and WordPress embeds for a little bit of a speed boost and that's pretty much it so with that active uh, we started at 2.2 seconds and 2.89 megabytes page load or page size and now we have 0.9 fully loaded time and 578 kilobytes which is a pretty substantial difference. That's a 50% drop in our fully loaded time and about an 85% difference on our total page size. Now I'm going to show you what it looks like in our incognito window. I'm going to come over here and refresh it a couple times just to make sure we're getting uh, good results. And we're getting down under 400 milliseconds for uh, DOM content loaded and under 600 milliseconds for the fully loaded time. So about a 200 millisecond difference with WP Rocket. So in case you're curious, here's all the plugins I loaded on this uh, site just to give it a little bit more load. And that's it. So with the Easy Image Optimizer and WP Rocket, you can make a huge improvement on the performance of your site. We hope you like it. We hope it helps you out. And let us know if you have any questions or comments.